officially only have like 12 hours left of quarantine guys i kind of cannot believe it i feel like i have been in here forever and also no time at all you know this is gonna be our last video for a while because i don't know if i'm gonna have time to keep doing youtube videos once i get back into the swing of my crazy life i hope you guys enjoy this last video together and yeah let's get into it it is time for some reflective yoga my friend let me just stretch it out let all the tension out that you've been feeling over the past week over the past month past year it's been a crazy year but you've been working very hard been in quarantine is that I can handle being alone a lot better than I thought I could. Obviously, I prefer when I have other people around, but if I have to live on my own for a while, then I'm okay. I probably cried maybe twice when I was in here, which is a lot better than I was expecting. that the best way to maintain a good mood is to just give yourself a goal and keep a good mood about it. I know that sounds cheesy, but maintaining a joyful attitude really helps. And learning to be okay with yourself if you're not super productive and you don't get everything done that you wanted to or the big projects you thought you were going to do while you were here because you didn't have so much time, it's okay if you didn't do it. You can just cram like I do. If you don't even have a topic for your speech yet that's due in five days and you haven't started your history essay that you're worried is going to take a very long time to write. But it's okay. It's okay if you didn't get to anything today. The most important thing is that you remain mentally healthy through the time off that you took. that going back into your normal life might be a little stressful at first. You don't get to completely make your own schedule anymore. You have to go back to classes and small groups and other responsibilities. But you'll get back into it. strong and you are capable and you did it before so you can do it again So many people that have missed you while they haven't been able to see you. Enjoy the last night you have to yourself where you get to relax. Sleep in an uncomfortable bed. 
the empty apartment. And be excited that you get to go back to dining halls and back to in-person classes and back to not talking to anybody in dining halls or in in-person classes. But you're able to just be around them. Because no one's going to force you to stay indoors anymore. time for yourself this evening to just reflect on the memories you've created over the past week. And most importantly, Stop procrastinating those assignments and get your life back together. <laughs> Thank you guys for sticking around. Please know, I believe all of the positive things I said with all of my heart and all of the sarcastic or mean things I said are just that. They're sarcastic comments. <laughs> but let's do our final highs and lows. So my low of the day is that I know after this I'm going to have to go back to going and getting my food and ordering food and possibly paying for food, I'm not just going to get these amazing deliveries that just show up at my door every morning. So I, I will miss that. I will not miss the food particularly though because I have had enough chicken noodle soup and mystery meat to last me for at least through the rest of the semester. <laughs> it's my choir concert. <laughs> and then my high is that I've actually been able to get most of my stuff back in the bags that they came in. Like, you know how when you stay somewhere for a while, somehow you end up with more stuff and then you have trouble putting it all back in bags and getting back home. But since I've been here, I haven't been able to go do anything or go make any more purchases or go somehow gather more stuff for myself. So I'm actually able to fit everything back where it needs to go. I still have a few things to pack up, so we'll see if I feel the same in the morning. I never know at the end of vacations or quarantines if I'm going to be able to get back as easily as I got here. And let me tell you, getting here was not easy. I don't remember how much I talked about it in my first video, but it was a lot of like carrying things like this and it was not, it was not pretty. Let's just say that. But thank you guys so much for coming to my channel and watching my videos while I've been in here. Um, I really enjoy making these and for whoever's watching them, I hope they made you smile. Um, yeah, thank you so much and I will see you around, hopefully soon. Adios, buenas noches, goodbye, have a good night, and thank you again for watching. Mwah, te amo. That was amazing, I'm so proud of you. Mwah.